Robots are now becoming almost entirely part of every aspect of people's life in China. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. So, today, let's talk about the rise of robotics in China. In this video, you will see how real robots are now taking part of people's everyday life in China. And in this video, you will see 12 areas of human life that robots are now taking over. So, without further delay, let's head over to my number one. Number one is warehouse automation with the robotic workforce. In this warehouse, robots are taking over much of the important works to be done. They work alongside humans and it seems like everything works perfectly fine here. This is a 1.3 square kilometer transit warehouse. The use of sorting robots improves efficiency, accuracy, and security during the sorting process and also reduces manual labor costs by an astonishing 70%. This AI and logistics model is now revolutionizing the express delivery industry across the country. Number two is the manufacturing robots. Not only humans are the ones who can manufacture and produce things, but these robots are also the ones getting the job done. Some 700 machines are working day and night processing screens for smartphones. Tons of machines and tons of screens but very few workers. Yang Wei, a production supervisor, has been working here for three years. When he first started as a machinery operator, things were very different. Recently, the International Federation of Robotics estimates that China is on course to having the most robots in the world by 2017. Much of this is due to its growing high-end manufacturing sector. In 2013, China surpassed Japan for the first time to become the world's biggest and fastest growing robot market with around 37,000 industrial robots sold. Number three is the police robots. You can be safe here because these police robots are patrolling here. Number four is the animal robots. Do you like pets but don't want to clean up their mess and poops? Then this one is for you.
Number five is the window cleaning robot. If you forget to clean up your office windows, this robot will do the test. Number six is the robot bartenders. Let yourself be served by these robots if you want to go out for a drink. Number seven is the hotel robot. This is a room service robot ready to serve you. Number eight is the restaurant robot waiters. There is no need for you to worry if you are hungry. Just go to this restaurant and be served by robot waiters. At least the kind of waiters one normally thinks of. Here, the robots do the work. And customers seem to like what the restaurant is dishing up. The robots deliver the food. There are no traditional waiters serving. I think it's quite original. So these advantages make it really convenient and high-tech. Wang Peixing says he bought his robots for around $900 a piece. About two months of salary for an ordinary worker. And customers seem to like them. Some analysts say China is undergoing a robot bubble. Mr. Wang says he hopes the technology will improve. Number 9 is the athletic robots. Robots in China can also be in sports like these ones. It might look like toddlers learning how to walk. But even professional footballers had to start somewhere. To build such a robot that can move and feel requires the installation of many sensors to enable them to tell which direction the football comes in, where the goal is located, its position on the field, as well as to recognize its own team and the rival team. Number 10 is robot teachers. These robots can teach your kids if you want. Number 11 is the delivery robots. 
And here comes this delivery robot that can deliver your packages. Number 12 is the bank robots. Chinese robots can also work in banks like this one. So, what do you think of the rise of robotics in China? If you have anything to say about this video, just leave your comment below. And that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.